You have just suffered through a long and tiring work day. And sometimes life doesn't turn out quite the way that we want it to, especially during the work week. But what do you do when you are home and you're away from work to help yourself decompress from a long day? We are going to show you a few ways that we deal with our stress. Before we get started, comment down below and let us know one way you manage your stress. The first thing we like to do after a long, hard day to relieve our stress is we like to get outside. We are definitely outside people and we are both happier when we are in the sun. Now, if you haven't figured it out by now, we absolutely love our dogs and they're really athletic. So we love to take them to their favorite field where we play fetch with them. And it's always really re rewarding and exciting when they catch a ball midair or do something really cool. It just definitely never gets old. The second thing we love to do is we love to go on nice long walks. Whether we go hiking in the woods like we are today or we're walking on a nice paved path, it's always refreshing and rejuvenating when you're outside moving your bodies. It's also a perfect time to stop what you're doing, take a deep breath, and enjoy your surroundings. We tend to be the most creative when we're on these walks. We have the best conversations, we come up with the best ideas, and it's just always a lot of fun because there's no rules, there's no expectations. We're just there to enjoy our time and explore a little. One of the easiest ways for myself to de-stress is playing some video games. And nothing is more satisfying than poning people online. And today you'll notice I'm going for the pod. For all you noobs out there, Pog means play of the game. Pog accomplished. When I'm trying to relieve stress on my own, I love to have a self-care at home spa day. And I always do this by drawing a bath and then adding a fun bath bomb. I happened to get this one at Target. It smelled amazing and little did I know it came with a fun little surprise inside. Mine came with a cute little mermaid charm that you could add to the back of a necklace. While I wait for the bath to finish filling up, I went ahead and put on this face mask. This one I also got from Target and it's supposed to recharge and restore your skin. It's even supposed to sparkle. I didn't really notice the sparkles, but I didn't look very close either. But I did find that my skin was nice and smooth, so I definitely would get this one again. You can't have an at-home spa day without lighting a few candles. So I went ahead and did that, turned the lights off, and just enjoyed relaxing and doing nothing while I had the chance. Knife making is definitely my most favorite hobby. 100% focus is required when I'm in the middle of grinding bevels. I cannot afford to get distracted or two things could go wrong. I could hurt myself or I could mess up about three and a half hours of work that I've already done. When I am stressed, you can almost always find me in the kitchen. There is something comforting about making something delicious. Something that I love to do is take something that might be known as traditionally unhealthy and experiment with it to make it a little bit healthier by swapping out a few ingredients. When I'm in the kitchen after a long day, Zach knows to steer clear and just let me do my thing. Besides, he almost always benefits after with either a sweet treat or a fun new meal to try. The last but probably the most important is physical fitness. We love to do a high intensity workout where our blood is pumping, we're sweating, and we are focused on pushing ourselves through the entire workout. When we are in the moment, it is all we are capable of thinking about, so it allows us to escape the world for a little bit, and we always feel amazing afterwards. We know it can be really hard to find that motivation to work out, especially if you are tired, busy, and stress. We found that setting realistic expectations is really important to our success. 
We used to try to work out five to six times a week, but we can never do it. And we found that we worked out less because we felt like we were failing. Now we only strive to work out two to four times a week and we are way more successful this way and we are way more committed to our fitness journey than we were before. And it's a huge part to managing our stress levels throughout the week. Thank you everyone for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Allison. And my name is Zach. And we post new adventures every single Saturday. And sometimes we even post food videos on Wednesdays. So we'll definitely see you Saturday and maybe we'll see you Wednesday. See you then. Bye. Bye.